Good morning, Peach Boards. This is Lance Stern again um, with another video concerning something I feel Peach Mains could really use uh, to take their game to the next level. Um, I was sitting watching some Melee videos and watching Brood vs. Meta Knight um, at Apex, and the one thing people mentioned was how Brood um, was able to punish a lot of things they weren't expecting Olimar to be able to punish and uh, I was thinking about punishment and spacing and what Peach might be lacking in is the sense that once again her horizontal spacing is kind of off it's kind of lacking and so it might be harder for her along with her poor dash speed and slower than average aerial movement might be harder for her to punish moves that are far away and so, I came up with this. Uh, traditionally in Brawl, the only way you can really, if you're moving, the only way you can really punish is by pivoting or shielding and then turning around and doing a punishment, like so. Um, with Peach, with a low dash speed, where she can't cancel the dash immediately with the shield, it makes it really hard for her to punish. Um, she can't just run shield and then turn back around and punish like Meta Knight, even Samus, Olimar, stuff like that. Um, another way to stop moving a different direction is jumping, using an aerial. Um, but you're still limited in the, the types of moves you can use to punish. Only with a dash attack or something like that. Um, but with Peach, she has a unique property. And Minnow brought it up. Um, you can see here again, you'll never really be able to punish anybody with that. It's too slow. You can shield dash and then attack, but again, that's too slow. That won't, you can't punish anybody with that. Uh, but Minnow brought up the unique property um, with Peach. The one person that can do that is that she can float and instantly cancel her float, uh, which in effect gives Peach the ability to be the only one to change her direction instantly on the ground. Um, Peach computers do that at level 9 and we can use it as well uh, to punish people that are chasing us or to punish people that have used a laggy move a few inches away that normal attacks wouldn't be able to punish but if we could change our direction fast enough we can punish so I'm gonna be talking the video might beat me, so I might be pausing every now and then. Um, it's an instant float, and you cancel it. Um, I've coined the term wasping. As you can see, she can stop her direction instantly, faster than shielding, and faster than turning around with a pivot. And in a sense, she turns around, and you can instantly do an attack. Suppose Meta Knight was chasing you, you can stop and instantly jab him to catch him off guard. It's much faster than pivoting around. Combine that with wasping, uh, the phrase I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about, but I really think might be the future of Peach. Um, wasping is canceling your float fast enough so that you have almost like a wave dash movement. And you combine that with turning your direction around and you can punish things that uh, you might not have thought you'd been able to punish before. I think it'll show here. You turn your direction around or stop your direction and then you wasp in a direction and attack. It's very jagged. It's very confusing. And it allows you... So if you can bait them to stop and do a laggy attack, you can instantly stop your direction and come back with an attack that people weren't expecting. It's faster than pivoting, it's faster than turning around and dashing. And it just gives you another option to punish people rather than just always run and camp and wait for them. Peach is amazing. She can stop herself. And I think we should be using that more 
uh, to be more aggressive in our spacing. Not reckless, not dumb, but more aggressive nonetheless. So I just wanted to highlight this. It's nothing new. Like I said, Minnow Underwater mentioned this earlier, but it's something I don't see Peaches use at all. And I think it would be very useful. Thanks very much.